How's it? This is Mark Heil, and we're going to be working more with Excel using the choose function, uh, some more of the uh, other equations that make Excel so fun. Now, we're going to take some ice cream orders from your favorite people in the world. Okay, so go ahead and set up your um, spreadsheet like this. Um, and you can cho choose your own colors, though, uh, that you want. Just make sure that everything's very easy to read. <clears throat> when you're done with that, go ahead and in A1, control click and insert a new row. Go ahead hit type 1, 2, 3. Instead of going 4 or 5, we're going to uh, click on this little square right there and drag it down uh, so we have 6 total. And then once you have 6, highlight all those 6 rows, drag it down so you move it down and delete the 6th row. Next, we're going to double click A and B so it auto um, sizes our column. Okay, so now we have our numbers and ice cream orders and we're ready to take our orders. So I want you to name one through five. If you could have a party and you could have an ice cream party with five people in the world, who would they be? Whether they're celebrities or your bestest friends, uh, you can choose. For me, my favorite basketball team is the Dallas Mavericks. So I'm going to take my uh, orders from my Maverick players, and here we go. Jason wants strawberry, Marianne mint, and so on. Now you got to ask them, these are hungry guys, how many they want, okay? And again, for your flavors, they sh you choose your own flavors for your guys. So you choose the quantity. Um, so let's say Jason, ah, he just wants one. Marianne, he'll have three. Terry... Is two Dirk, he's a hungry guy, he'll have five. And Tyson, he's a, the biggest guy of them all, he'll take six. Okay, now the price, I'm gonna get the total price. The price is three dollars per cone. Okay, so let's set up our equation. It's gonna be equals. I'm gonna choose uh, the quantity, and we're gonna multiply by the price per cone. And instead of putting three, for $3, we're going to do a cell reference just in case the price changes. So if the price changes to $4 because of crazy inflation, notice it automatically changes it there as well. Okay, But remember, we're going to copy it down. And notice it doesn't uh, work because when you copy the equation down, see here's D3, E10. Here's D4. Oh, E11. That's copying it down too, but there's nothing there. We want this uh, E10 to stay the same. So go into E10. And the shortcut is command we want absolute t, so t, command t to do absolute value for the whole reference. Hit enter, and then copy that equation down. And just like that, we got ourselves our order for that part. Now we, we have a promotion. And go ahead and auto size everything so it fits. Now they have a discount going on. Okay, So the discount is... If you buy $10 or more worth of ice cream, you get 50% off. That's a crazy deal. So let's go ahead and do that. For this, you're going to use the if function again. So go ahead from the format and palette. Function if. Okay, so now for our if value, value 1 equals, okay, what are we asking for? If what? If the price, okay, is equal to or greater than, okay, and 10, again, we're not going to put in the number, we're just going to put in a cell reference, then what are we going to do? Then it's going to be 50% off, right? So we're going to hit, it's going to be 50% off. So then E14. And else, if it's not, then sorry, no discount. So it's just going to be the regular price. So it's going to be here, $3. Okay. Now, how do we uh, calculate 50% off of the price? Well, you're going to take um, E5. Sorry. Um, let's do that one more time. I clicked off of it. If this value is greater than or equal to uh, this $10, then we're going to take the price. We're going to multiply that 
by what? 2. So then it would be $6. Sorry. Divided by 2. Yeah. E3 divided by 2 is 1.5. And else, if it's else, then it would be just that price. Okay? So there we go. Let me hit. Uh, oh, don't forget your absolute cell reference values uh, wherever they're needed. Uh, but we can do that later. So we have $3. The way that we can check it, if they buy seven ice cream cones, yep, price is 21 So now that we have our amount, correct amount, we want to add absolute cell reference values so we can copy the equation down. Command T will give you that. And Command T... Okay, so F3, E3, that's correct. Let me copy it down, and we have our prices. So this drops down, he changes his mind, gets two, that's correct, six. So we have our equations. One thing I did want to uh, tell you about how Excel works is if you have e an uh, equation, let's say equals, and then you have a number, you want to use a parenthesis sign, like 88 plus six minus two, you want to have it in parentheses, and then you can like divide all of that by two. Okay, so if you have a group of an equation that you want to do something with, keep it in that parentheses um, so that it treats it as one value. Okay, so um, notice that it says if, and it has all of this in parentheses. That's an example of when you'd want to do that too. Okay, now if we wanted to take this divided by 2, we could put that in parentheses, and then we could add something to that if you wanted to do a more complex equation, like if it wasn't 50%. Okay, so now we got the discount. Now we're going to do the choose function, one of my favorites. So now they have this little, little wheel, and you like spin this wheel, and it'll go on a number. And the number will tell you if you, like number 1 is free cone. Um, two is, and I can just copy these down, uh, free teddy bear and size up and try again. Okay, so we want to enter an equation here for the coupon. Now, uh, we don't need this stuff anymore, so we're going to hide uh, this. So hide those cells right there, and let's work with our uh, choose function. Okay. So the equation is going to go into the coupon. So let's say he um, does a number one. We'll just give that an example. And so we're going to choose choose. Now we're going to look up, okay, if this number, okay, whatever that number is, if it's a one, we want it to equal what? Free cone, right? And it tell you, tells you in green right here, free cone. If you, um, you want to add more, you hit the plus sign. If it's two, you get buy one, get one, plus sign. If it's three, it's teddy. If it's four, it's size up. And if it's five, it's try again. And you hit enter, and then there we go. We have our uh, free cone. So uh, double click and go in and choose absolute cell references for the Bs. So you can hit Command T and highlight those, hit enter, copy those down. And it'll say value because there's no value yet. Well, let's go ahead and put some values in. And we're going to center these values. So go ahead and highlight it, Command E. Now, Marion spins a wheel. He gets a three, free teddy bear for Marion. And then Terry goes and he gets a four. Oh, size up. And then Dirk goes and he gets a two, buy one, get one. And Tyson goes, he gets a five, try again. And then he, Tyson is so sad. He's like, I want a free coupon. And the lady's like, all right, spin it again. So he spins it again, and he gets a three. And then he's like, yeah, I wanted a teddy bear. But then the lady's like, oh, you know, I just gave my last one to Marion. Hats. Hey, now I can wear my cool hat and advertise your store. Okay, so notice it changes it as well. So now we're done. Highlight um, all the rows around the hidden ones, unhide them, and then we're finished. 